The recipe for this car is a bit mad. Two-seater German Roadster, that's a good start. By Mercedes, even better. Oh, and it's had the AMG treatment. Get in! And then someone decided to plonk a monstrous 5.4 litre V8 in the front. What the hell were the Germans drinking? Well, I'm here to find out. I'm Max Atavani, and welcome to Driven Plus. Well, let's address the first thing you all want to hear, and that's that V8. <laughs> oh yes, what AMG is famed for. It's glorious sounding V8. And in particular, the M113 engine. The one you'll find in the C55, E55, all those car configurations from Mercedes. It's a 5.4 litre naturally aspirated V8 with 355 horsepower and 510 newton meters of torque. So there is plenty of power. <laughs> plenty of it. But having said that, for the size of engine, would you have thought the, you know, the power figures would have been more? Potentially. But having said that, 0 to 60 figure is 4.9 seconds and it'll top out at 155 miles per hour. It's not short of power one bit. It's bloody quick. It really is, and it weighs 1,575 kilos, just short of 1.6 tonne. So you get this 7G automatic transmission, which is all nice, don't get me wrong. But Mercedes, for me, you've missed out on a big trick here. You should have given this car a manual treatment. It's just crying out for one. V8, rear wheel drive, it needs a manual box. Come on. But having said that, the auto box ain't too bad. It, it likes to be in the low revs where it is, and it's in its sportier setting now. So you do have to, it kicks down. You would have thought it'd be in that high revs ready to go, but no, it's not. But it's one of them. It's an old system now. And let's say I put the gearbox in manual mode, which is controlled by this button here. Um, let's go down the revs, fourth, third, second. <laughs> that really held back then. Oh, right, so when you get to the red line, the dash will flash red saying, change, change, change. If you're gonna get one of these, personally, I would drive this in manual mode because you feel more engaged and you can really redline it. And it doesn't change up for you either, so you are in full control of this. It's not a bad box. And the paddles, they do click, so. I do like clicky paddles, I do like them. So, Mercedes. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes you look at a car and you think, yeah, that's a sporty car, that's a fast car. But this, this is very civilized. And yeah, okay, the quad tailpipes, they give it away. But from the front, you, you could mistake this for a base model SLK. But if you know your stuff, it's got different bumpers and there are a few different other touches as well. But it's not striking in your face, is it? And um, that's what I like about this. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing, it really is, because it's seriously, seriously quick. And the suspension setup as well, yeah. For an AMG car, it's very comfortable, more comfortable than I thought it'd be for what it is. In terms of feedback from a corner, there's, a, there's quite a bit of roll, but yeah, it's not bad. Depends what you're gonna use it for. The better cars in the market, such as a, uh, a Porsche Boxster. But this has got one hell of a lump up front. But these weren't cheap when they came out. 52 grand back in the day. And now you can pick them up for the late teens. So, yeah, they come down a bit. But now if you're in the market for one, well, we'll get onto that later. And the look of this thing. I mean, from the front, they've kind of gone for the look of the SLR McLaren especially with that nose and where the badge is. It looks all right, looks good. Obviously the SLR McLaren looks 10 times better. Don't get me wrong, I'm not comparing the two at all. But for me, I think this car has gone through three 
design curves. When it first came out, really good. Probably the fashion at the time. And then it's gone back down through like the late 2010s, where it's like, oh no, really? Not one of them. It looked old in the day. But now it's coming back up again. And I think we are now appreciating what this car is. And I think we are appreciating that the fact that Mercedes gave this the V8 treatment. But the SLK 55 isn't even the SLK's Q car. They did an SLK 55 Black Series, which 400 horsepower, had bucket seats, carbon fiber everywhere, but they are so rare, I've never seen one. Just a Black Series, one of these, <laughs> what? Inside the cabin, I will say, there's a lot of hard plastics going on, but having said that, it's absolutely solid. The build quality is immense. It really is much better than the newer Mercedes, because all the newer Mercedes, they do all this creaking stuff. With anything you touch, it just falls apart. So it's 50-50 for me. The leather's really good. I think the inside of the cabin's gonna age really well, like the exterior design of this car. There is a sense of timeless design for this car. Definitely is a modern classic and they're appreciating in value, they really are, because this is the definition of pocket rocket. <laughs> yes, I like that, I do like that. Just the raw power of this thing. You can't beat a V8, you cannot beat it. Yeah, the soundtrack is mega. I do think this era of Mercedes AMG was the best. I'm not being biased because I'm driving this, but I think it's facts. Because it was the time of the W204 uh, C63 with the 6.2 litre V8. And it, just the build quality of Mercedes of, of that era is just, it's on point. And you can really tell by even driving this car. It was a time where the V8 was at its peak. And a car like this will never be built again. It never will. It went head to head with the Porsche Boxster and the BMW Z4M. But they didn't offer what this did. And that's raw V8 power. And I will say, this will catch you out. It's an exciting little thing to drive. You have to be prepared, it's got no LSD. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything more. The brakes, they're not too bad. This car probably needs them looking at. But, in terms of engagement, obviously Porsche Boxster would be up there, and then the Z4M. Would I put this in third? I don't know, I think that V8 is a massive selling point for this car. Yeah, I, I don't know, I'm a BMW man, but I can really see the appeal in this. This car definitely has to be one of the most appealing packages out there. So we're stopped here now. And with a click of a button, the roof comes down. You do get a totally different experience when this is down. And I am so looking forward to hearing that exhaust out now. Let's go. All right, you're in manual mode first. Oh yeah, this has got to be driven with the roof down, 100%. <laughs> yeah, now this car comes alive. Get a little exhaust burble there as well. But I love the fact that cars like these aren't shouty like cars nowadays. Yeah, okay, apart from the quad tailpipes. But it takes an enthusiast to appreciate what this car is because you hardly see them. They are rare. Future classic? Most definitely. One last time, let's hear this glorious V8 in all its glory. Ah, uh, 
You can't beat a V8. You cannot, and especially in this. It's so pure. It sounds the rumble. It's pure like muscle car. I hope you uh, enjoyed our review on the SLK 55 AMG today. And uh, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you.